first made your breakup hurt so much? Okay, so you guys want to hear a story? I've got story time for you if you want. I've never talked about my first. I've never talked about that shit on stream. I think maybe one time, like my first year ever. So if you, if you want to hear a story about first major breakups, I got you. Yeah, actually, I did say I just say it one time. I did a warning one time only. My very Match first. Point. You know what I'm saying? The we V card. My my first quote unquote major relationship. <clears throat> I once hit on a friend by asking if, if they were into dudes me and I was told that it was rude to ask people who are into so I can't assume you're straight but I can't no, it's, no, no. well um it's not negative so hopefully they don't get in trouble for it but there's something called the gaydar get out of my people way. say they have a gaydar and you gotta like just basically test just it's I, I don't see I, that's a touchy thing because I'm a straight dude and I've had plenty of God damn it. I've had plenty of, of dudes send me messages in my DMs. And like I said, at first I found it annoying, but then I was like, whatever. Like, I'll just say, because like they were respectful about it. And I'm assuming they're respectful because they didn't want to offend a straight guy. <laughs> so it has happened. Is I keep... How is someone supposed to know if they don't ask? It'd be no different if I talked to a girl and wanted to know if that, if that lady, that woman, wanted to spend time with me. She wanted to go out and have a have a date. If I could take her to the movies or food or whatever, or you know, have her come over, Netflix and chill, whatever. How are you supposed to know unless you ask? So like, but I think it's harder because the, like now it's obviously becoming more open. But back then in my time, if you asked another straight dude that he was gay, you're getting punched, beat the fuck up, beat him up. But that's not a, that's not a reality anymore. That's not how things are. So, like you have to ask, and I think it's more open now to ask than it was back then. GG. Um, yeah, GG. I'm on an hour lunch. That's a perfect time. Okay, so I'll try to condense the thing because I don't know how much longer you have on your lunch. Okay, so my first relationship ever. My mom, my mom told me not to fuck until I was 18. I broke that promise. I almost made it. I made it to 17 years. Okay, 17 years old. She had me get a babysitter. She ba she had me get a babysitter at 17 years old. She was a white girl. I have a thing for white girls. It is what it is. So she's over here. We're on the couch. She had a boyfriend, by the way. Her name was Gabe. And we were just talking. And the next thing I know, we're sitting on the couch. And I'm touching on... Like, I just... I was aggressive. I've always been an aggressive person. Always. And we just start kissing. I'm grabbing, you know, the woman up here, down there. And... And... I, I, I'm not... I'm going to be honest. That's exactly what I said. I said, look, I'm a virgin. i never done anything. But I'll... Eat your pussy if you suck my dick. That's literally what I said. I'm not joking. And she looked at me and I looked at her and she said, yeah, I'm going to go home and shower. So she goes home and shower. I go in my shower and shower. Even I, even though I already had a shower, I just did it anyways. I felt like I needed to. Um, just, I, it was my first time. So, you know, that happens. <laughs> and we fuck. I, I'm, I'm sorry. We, you know, we're doing our thing fellatio. And then, like every other guy, that I'm not every other guy, but back in the like you know the pine, the, the American Pie type days type of movies, kind of put the tip in. That was what I said. No, no cap. That's literally what I said. Can I put the tip in. So I put. She's like, yeah. And of course, put the tip in, and then tip went to the whole thing, the whole thing. And then, you know, we did that shit. Um, Stupid little side thing. My brother said his first time he did it three times. So my whole thing, my I was high. I used to get high back then too, by the way. I was high as fuck. My whole thing is I wanted to make sure I did more times. But I'm the big brother. I can't be at, I can't tie him. I got to do it four times. At least, all right? At least. So I, of course, we did it four times. So like, I, I, it was a little, I don't want to sit here and, you know, talk up myself, but it was for hours. And then, I, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Four, just four times for those of you that don't understand i'm sorry four times so i did it for you know eh. so anyways <laughs> my mom told me how much it would hurt hurt if i got with somebody that wasn't special and i think i think it was hurtful because of my mom put it in my head that that's what it had to be right that's what it's like that girl had to be the absolute best fucking thing in the world to me and we were gonna get married and blah that's that's not the reality the reality is most of the time you lose your virginity someone's gonna be with a shitty person who doesn't care about you wants to know you or is going to get to know you in any way shape or form that's the reality remember she had a boyfriend she was cheating on her boyfriend with me um so i got attached and we would talk here and there and then i like we i, I actually so she was with her 
cousin. I used to go to her cousin's house and we would fuck at her cousin's house. I would stay the night and everything. And I was 17 and she was like 21, 22, I believe. 21, 22. Something like that. She was an older girl than me. And um, we would go over there and fuck. And then her boyfriend came over. Her boyfriend came over and threatened to beat my ass. And he always had a butterfly knife with him. And me being the rage monster that I was, because I was, like I said, I was always fit and I was, I was like, I, I, I didn't lose fights. It wasn't a thing. I was ready to beat his ass, even though he had a knife. My brother was there. She was there. My brother's girlfriend was there. Her cousin was there. This dude named Scott, which she ended up getting with later on, was there. <clears throat> and um, it was really hard for me because, like, I, I didn't know how to separate myself from her. And it was the first time I ever acted crazy over a girl. It really was. Obviously, it was my first time. I was fucking 17, bro. And <laughs> and and I remember, I remember, like, I was so attached, bro. And, like, I started, and then, like, she broke up with him finally, like, about two to three weeks later. And I don't even know if she did anything with him or not. But I thought, I don't want to, I don't fucking care now. It's like, I'm fucking 40. I don't care. So I don't give a shit about that. But. I was, bro, I couldn't let go. And my mom was like, stop doing this. She stopped doing this shit because she was going back and forth telling me she loved me, but going back to her boyfriend, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was rough. It was really rough for me. And I just stayed in it and I stayed in it. And I was like, she's going to choose me because I'm fucking, I'm the better guy. There's no way I couldn't be chosen. I'm the better guy. And I told myself that. And, and then she, again, it did happen, but it was like two, three weeks later. And I would go to her house and we would do our thing. Her boy, well, the weirdest shit. So I just, I'm, since I'm telling the story, one of the weirdest things happened. And this motherfucker literally listened to us fuck. And then he started talking shit after we both, you know, <laughs> yeah. And then he's out there and I'm like getting dressed, ready to go beat the shit out of this dude. And she's like, no, don't go, don't go hit him. Don't go beat him up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I won't beat this motherfucker's ass. He's literally listened to us fuck. That's weird, bro. That's weird. And then. Like that's I, I'm, some of you have already heard this story because I've mentioned it many times before, and that is the concept of love. Okay, so her 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 name was Fonda. Her mom was dating an old black dude, and then one day, like I said, I was the first time I ever been crazy over a girl, like legit crazy. And I remember she was talking about she didn't know she wanted to be with me, she didn't know she loved me, and she you know being told I love you really fucking stuck with me because it was the first time i could think of it as a legit I, obviously we're having sex and we're talking we stayed in the same houses together you know we're going places all that shit so saying seeing that hearing that shit then you're saying i'm not sure i love you it's kind of weird and it hurt and it hurt like something i could never fucking describe to you because my first time being hurt like that i've been hurt before by stupid shit like being told i was too nice or you know just breaking up you no know, just regular breakups but like that was a whole different thing because there was actual intercourse involved and i remember literally going out to the side of the house and I was straight, and I'm I'm just being honest with you, so I, I want you to understand, like, you can, this this can happen to you. If you get, you just I just got super mad, and I was literally just gorilla fucking bruh, a desk, like just crushing the desk. She's like, I'm not joking, and <clears throat> and her and her and obviously again, I'm almost six foot. I'm fucking. You see my pictures when I was in high school. Some of you have fucking huge. You don't want to fuck with me. So even now, you can see I have big shoulders. I'm big. I'm a big motherfucker. I'm a big frame. And the the boyfriend comes, her, her mom's boyfriend, and he's like, yo, what's up? Like, why are you acting like this? And I'm like, he's a black dude. And I was like, because she says she loved me, and I love her, and she's fucking telling me now she's not sure. And we've been, I've been this and that, and I stood up for her. I fought, I, bro, I, I got stabbed right here because of her. Like, I fought her fucking, I eventually ended up fighting her ex. Because what happened was, he did it again. He listened to us fuck. And then when I was, and then I was like, what the fuck? I'm gonna beat your ass. So I get up, I get dressed, and he keeps walking. I'm like, yo, stop walking, stop walking. I chase this motherfucker from her house to my block, which is basically the same apartments I live in right now, by the way. And it's it's like not even that far. It's like two and a half blocks up this street right now that I'm literally pointing at. And I walked this the whole time. And then he, and then I was like, What's up, motherfucker? Remember, I hang around black people, so it is what it is. And I was like, What's up, motherfucker? And I said the N-word. And I was like, come in. And it, <laughs> not our word. And I was like, and then he pulled out his butter knife and did that shit. And he tried to stab me. Obviously, I dodged it. He tried to hit me. He tried, he like put it in his hand with the knife sticking out this way. Came across my 
my face and I just ducked. And then I just went in because, like I said, I knew I knew my uncle taught me a little bit of uh, uh, not not Brazilian jujitsu, just judo. So I put this motherfucker on his ass, and then got the knife. I rolled on his arm, put his knife, uh, pulled the knife out, and just threw that knife. And I just started beating him, bro. Like I said, I broke his nose, his ribs, like, like, bro. This dude was literally his face just looked fucked up, bro. I'm not even joking. Like I just fucked his shit up, and um, like. To get back to that story, to get back to the love thing, he's like, so you love her, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, no, you don't. I was like, what do you mean? He's all, do you love your mom? And I was like, yeah, I love my mom. He's all, if your mom kills someone today, would you still love her? And I thought, and I sat there. Remember, I'm only like 17, almost 18. I think at the time I'm almost 18. And I'm like, yeah, I would. It's my mom. Like, it's fucked up, but I love my mom. He's like, that's love. He's like, that's fucking love. He's like, if you're willing to forgive her over all that shit, that's love if you're willing to just be mad and just leave her and not want to deal with her shit because because you know you don't like what she's saying to you that's not love and i was like wait what that don't make no goddamn sense and of course that stuck with me because i'm obviously mentioning it fucking at 40 when i was 17 which is long at 23 years ago so i understand that shit now is what he was saying was love is unconditional love is something that people share and you can be in love with somebody but you understand that that love isn't fucking right for you. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. People can love each other, but it doesn't mean that it's going to work. Just love is not enough. You have to respect and you have to, bro, like I keep saying respect because respect is one of the biggest things. You have to respect each other. You got to want to have to fucking like be with that person and and not only respect them and be with that person. You, have, you also want to do things with them and for them. Like they're part of you. And one of the things that I said a lot is you have to add that person to your life. Okay, you're not, you're not like people say like, oh, what's that? What's that phrase people like to do with the relationship thing? Like you add to me, right? I feel like this girl adds to me. She she challenges me in different ways and it pisses me off, and I think that's a good thing. But like, if it was like toxic, of course that's different. But you're you're adding to your own happiness. You should be happy on your own, and that person you're bringing in adds to the happiness you already have as a person that is that is that is their own person. That that's that's to me, is is what I'm talking about. I'm. You want me to clip this? It's up to you. You you truly have wisdom here. I can sense your wisdom. Truly, this is what reassuring me of, of the sanctity of your heart. I, I've been through a lot, man, and like I don't like I I don't I do and I don't talk about it. There's spurts when I talk about it, but like I'm in a relationship, and you guys are obviously interested in the relationship, and you're gonna see it either grow or falter. That's just the reality of every relationship. You don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. It's it's hit or miss. It's always gonna be hit or miss. So like when that happens, um, like I I just I want I want her to be happy, and I want her to be here because she wants to be here. I don't want to force her to be here. I've done that shit where you want someone like you're like no you fucking you mm. but like it's different when you're like you mine and then you're, and then you're saying you're staking your claim just like she did at one time and I didn't take that as per I didn't take that as like manipulative I took that as that's a girl saying that I'm gonna fucking try and work hard on this because this is what the fuck I want so when I say that shit it's the same thing it's not me trying to be manipulative it's me saying this is mine and I want this to be mine and I'm gonna work for that shit because I I can't. I don't want to see what it's like without you. I don't. And 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 sadly, some of the times, even though you feel that way about someone, it's not going to be the reality for you. They're going to leave you. And that's just the way it is. And you just got to pick yourself up and try again. And that's why I said it sucks when you, like, I, it sucks me. It's, it, I, and I feel like fatal ass. Like, it sucks, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. Like, I, I'm scared because the, me feeling this way is the scary shit. And it's not, and again, you, some of you have been here long enough and you know I don't fucking feel this way. You know I don't talk this way. Like, so it's, it's really, it's really, and, and just, just for the fellas, it's terrifying. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's terrifying, but I'm still able to hold my own self and hold my values and say what the fuck I need and want from her respectfully, because if I don't, then what the, f like, I'm not going to get what I want. So therefore I'm infatuated instead of trying to actually build a relationship with this person. Being infatuated is just going to get you in trouble because you're just, because you think she's sexy or hot or she talks cute or because you know, you could watch anime with her or play video games with her. I don't want infatuation. I want a relationship. That makes fucking sense, fellas. Is that, I hope that makes fucking sense. I don't want that shit. That is the most important thing to me right now. It's a goddamn building blocks of a relationship.
it, it's it's super fucking rare to find like what I told her with the, like the anime, the talking, like the <laughs> spending time together, the actual the actual fucking communication that we have when we're not with each other. I like the fact that she messages me when she's at work for no ass reason, just because she's thinking of me. And I do the same thing. And when that stops, that means like it's time to uh, reevaluate if this person even really like wants to fuck with me because I would like that to last as long as a relationship is a thing, you know? I don't want it to just fizzle and fade away. And that's why you have to like, that's why I think that you have to have different um, interests. And then you have to have the wanting and need to make that other person happy. And if you don't have that want and need, and I do mean need to make that person happy, I don't want to be with that person. I want to wake up every day and feel like, <laughs> like I just need to hold her, hug her, kiss her. Like I want, she, she don't know how to cook. So I got a teacher, um, you know, make her breakfast, you know, eat her ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if I don't feel that, that I don't want to be in it. If we don't make each other laugh, if we don't want to do things together, I don't want to be in it. I just don't. I just like I'm being fucking sincere and finding that shit is hard, bro. It's it's fucking hard. And remember, this is this is someone who's been in a 10 year relationship. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I haven't been in a long last relationship and we had our ups and downs, of course. And it was hard and it was it was great sometimes. And sometimes it was nothing. It was literally just two people living together. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm just it's 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 rough and it's like a bunch of variables to a relationship and you just have to deal with them as they come and you have to be able to to look at the things uh you know from the outside looking in because if you look at it from your heart you're going to make some bad decisions and you might break some of your rules and when you do that you put yourself in danger and i understand that thing because even i have done that but like i'm still aware and i don't let other things that i know are like major fuck it like we all have our things that like tick us off and we can't stand but there's little things we got to see develop and if that person's worth that time and effort you'll let that little thing develop but you got to be cautious of that because if that thing that you realize that you're letting a little bit of you know a little bit of leakage in turns into something big that's bad so you got to be aware of what you what you like i said what you're willing what you're willing to allow, what you're willing to accept. And then when you fucking stop accepting that shit, there's gotta be a boundary. There's, so like rules, rules can be broken, but always remember, always remember your goddamn boundaries and what you will and will not accept. That's fucking super important. Um. So yeah, so like that, so like I know what it's like to be in that relate, like what Fado, what Fado was saying, and it's fucking rough, man. It's rough. So if you have any questions, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and read the chat real quick. I, I hope that was helpful for some of you young young man. Let me let me read this shit real quick. Okay. <clears throat> okay, said so this, read that. No, uh, you don't have bad taste, Joe. You got a tit fetish? No. What the fuck kind of question is that? Wait, what did I walk into? I uh, fucking child here. What up? You're right, you might as well say no. I remember this was told during the ML, pretty sure. Yeah, I said I said it one other time. Uh, love is like a river you can wash you but can also toss you about or drown you i guess motherfuckers are you googling these <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't know if it is i lived a thousand lives and love a thousand loves i've walked on distant worlds and seen the end of time that is some that what's she yelling at oh she got her vr headset she's freaking out about it you want me to clip this? It's up to you. I understand it. Good shit. You truly have wisdom here. I since I, I just want to read that again because that's a nice, that's one of the nicest things. Ever. That's like top fucking five of the shit in the six years I've heard been streaming that I've heard that shit. You truly have wisdom here. I sense your wisdom. It truly is. Uh, truly, this is what was reassuring me of your sanctity of heart. <coughs> Choose your other half. That's. Uh, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say yes and no, in that regard because there's still stuff to work on and there's still stuff that I would like her to do that she doesn't do. And there's still stuff that I'm sure that she wants me to under be understanding to and all the other stuff. So like other half, I don't know, but I know that right now, all I know is right now, I don't, I miss her when she doesn't talk to me. I miss her when we're not spending time together. Um, I love when we have conversations because I see her grow as a person and and i know she's listening if i felt that she wasn't listening and i felt that she wasn't growing i would leave and i've shown this with 
other girls of recent that I would not put up with it. So, so I, I, yes and no. I know that's a really fucking. I try to give a little bit of context to it because I know it's a vague answer, but yes and no. Yes and no. That's like a flower. Love must be nurtured. And if it blooms, you're truly, uh, truly a beautiful sight to it will be. That's some fucking corny shit, bro. Make intentions clear. Always make your intentions clear. Do not do not make your intentions unclear because then you're just gonna hurt the person. Don't do that shit. Make sure make sure you're saying what you're saying and feeling what you're feeling, because then you're just gonna get hurt and she's gonna get hurt. Or he's gonna get hurt, depending on obviously your relationships uh you know, binary choices. Um, infatuation or memories last six months, two years, but pure love can last a lot of time. Well, like I said, I feel, I feel if I wasn't a clown at an earlier age with my 10 year relationship, we probably would still be together. If I didn't cheat and if I didn't tell her I hated her because I was unhappy living in Florida, um, never, never like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was let's put it like this. I was mad today when I was talking to her, but I still kept my cool because I've I learned from that relationship. Speaking when you're angry out of anger to your significant other is the goddamn dumbest thing you can do. Because if, if I had a little more sense at that time, I wouldn't have said I hated her. I shouldn't have said I hated her. She was the mother of my children. She's been with me through thick and thin for 10 fucking years. We've moved from California to Florida like two, maybe three times back and forth because I wanted to live in Cali. She wanted to live in Florida. The whole reason she even wanted to live in Florida because her dad and her mom ended up eventually moving there. Her mom used to live in Michigan. And um, her uncle lived there, which is whatever. I wanted to live in Cali because my old, my son was here. And my whole, my friends and everything I knew, but, but but honestly, my two good friends, my one's Mike, he stayed here, but he had his own. He was living with you know friends, but he was living with his dad. He's taking care of his dad. His dad passed, and now he's just I don't even know what he's doing now. Last time I checked, he was living with his sister, but and then my best friend, like my actual best friend Lenny, he he's successful. He's he's ran. He's been managers of fucking regional shit for like uh like food checking and shit making sure we're eating healthy stuff there's no pesticides yada yada um dude's got dude's well off he's been with his girl for a while now which i believe he lives in the air uh he transports from arizona to here um i'm gonna try to catch up with him i've actually said let me message he actually sent me some shit the other day and i, I need to respond so i need i should check out my best friend i still consider him my best friend period and then my friend black mike moved to fucking riverside um california and he's going to vegas he just went to miami so like all my friends have moved on from here. So I'm glad I moved on eventually, but it took me a while because I didn't want to leave my friends. Um, so do what's right for you. Do what's right for your family. Do what you need to do so you can you could be a better man for yourself and the people that you say you care about. Um, your friends are, are your friends and don't matter where you are, they'll be your fucking friends. Uh, so, and again, don't, don't let, don't let that anger that you feel fucking take over what you're saying. <clears throat> always be mindful like like when i'm mad or when like when i was mad earlier i went like this i said give me a second i just put my hand on my lip exactly like this and i thought about what i was going to say because i was fucking mad and i don't want to say something that i shouldn't say because it's not it's not what you do if you really do love or care respect the person you're fucking dealing with that you're with you will not you will not do that shit i promise you if you find yourself yelling at her because she did some wild shit like basically you know basically cheating like she didn't do the dish or something you honor her that you don't really that's that's first of all you need some goddamn help but she did some like you know some wild wild shit and yeah i understand how you get emotional and yeah but disagreements on some relationship shit like you got to tell them and you got to talk to them and again obviously i like different dynamics so it's really hard to explain that where i'm coming from entirely because some of you i don't have the 18 plus tag on but um yeah, be mindful of that shit, bro. Be hella mindful of that. And if you if you find yourself yelling at her uh, on some baby shit, because like you should, uh, I mean, if you want to ask a particular certain question, I'll I'll give you that like the the basis of the idea of what I'm talking about. But be mindful what the fuck you're saying. Don't hurt your significant other, bro. That's fucked up. Um, if you if you don't want to be with her anymore, then don't be with her. But don't don't. I hate personally when a girl says i like she make like she puts herself down like i'm stupid or i'm not worthy or some shit like that i don't want that shit even like even as a kink like unless it's like in that context of the kink i don't want that shit i want you to feel fucking proud i want you to again i do want that person to be strong 
with me. I want them to grow with me. I want them to be able to stand up for themselves because I'm not always going to be around when, you know, when, when we're in a relationship and of course, if anything happens to be split up, <coughs> I want that person to be better and stronger than where they were when they fucking met me. I want that person to fucking have some pride. I want that person to have some dignity. I want that person to have some goddamn sense to, to get and, and need what she wants because at the end of the day, it's going to sound really, really motherfucking egotistical. I'm a good ass fucking dude and you're going to get good ass shit if you're with me because that's just what I am. That's what I am. And if I'm not giving it to you, that means I didn't want to give it to you. And that means I shouldn't be in that relationship. So, but if the fact of the matter is I want to give it to, and I do give it to fucking Panduce, I give her a lot. Okay. And I understand it's early and that's what scared the shit out of me because I haven't done that. I haven't done that in a long ass time. So it's, like I said, it is scary. But uh, if someone, if, if the beginning of the relationship is you can't even talk to each other so you can understand each other, uh, again, leave. Because the reality is there's too many women around the fucking world to be tripping like that. So yeah, you can, you can have a disagreement, you can have a, a dispute, and you can say what you need to say without being a fucking uh, a little kid about it. And um, you'll do the right things if you really care about that person at the end of the day. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask, young man, because I know a lot of you are young as fuck, and it's probably a lot to take in. Because when I was your age, um, I was a, I was thick headed, and even even now I still have much to learn. I'm still thick headed in some things. Like I don't I won't listen to everything. I'll listen to it, but I won't uh, I won't make a decision on it until I've thought thoroughly thought it over. Match so bound. like I think it's actually kind of annoying to be with me because if me and her were to have a disagreement, I'll think about that shit and I'll bring it back. Like hey, I thought about this and this and girls don't like that. People don't like that shit in general. No one likes to be told like hey, I thought about something. It's how I feel about it motherfucker and you tell them they're not gonna want to, like realistically they're not gonna want to hear that shit so um <laughs> that's the thing i do and she is moving as fast as you are uh yes but i think we're both like we're both realizing it and we talked about it and i damn that's a hard question to answer without exposing some things yes yes um but also like we're pulling back that makes sense you did this i understand do you understand yes the answer is ultimately yes yes she has um but but some aspects have been pulled back and some things we're working on because that needs to be done in order for us to have a better stronger and hopefully prolonged relationship but if it doesn't then obviously we'll go our separate ways it's just just because you break up with someone doesn't mean you have to be a fucking asshole. I've said this so many times on stream. This isn't the first time I said it. If you two don't work out, don't be a fucking fuckboy. Don't blast your pictures on the internet and say, fuck this bitch. Don't fucking... If you have some feelings about it, you want to talk about it, talk about it, okay? Talk, like, let it out, whatever. But you ain't got to call her a bitch and do all that other shit and act like a fucking kid because you didn't get your fucking... You know, like, like if we didn't work out, I would just be like... I'd be mad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd be a little upset, a little, a little, a little stung. But I would just be like, okay, like, good luck. You know, I think the, I think at most you could be like a fun while it lasted. That's a little, that's a little dig. But at the same time, like you're still keeping your dignity in yourself. Don't, don't do all that extra shit. Don't, don't do that extra shit. Like, please don't. It just makes you look foolish at the end of the day. Like she. Cause, Cause, if someone, if someone doesn't want to be with you, right? And you, and 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 you act like a fucking clown. Everyone got mugged. The only one that's going to be here at the I end did. of the motherfucking day is you, because that person's already moved Something. on. Because the fact that they said that they don't want to be with you is the signification that you are literally being an asshole. Everyone else got mugged. To your motherfucking self. Don't do that shit. Just be like, okay, like, you know, I, I, I wish it would have worked the way I like you, and. You know, good luck. Like seriously, I, and I know it's hard, bro. Like even even me saying that, you can see it on my face, it's hard. But you got you got to smash your ego sometimes, so you don't so you don't. Scanning ahead. You don't give that person the gratifi gratification that they that they did the quote unquote right thing because sometimes they're not doing the right thing. They're just doing it because they're scared. Because a lot, of, I'm sure most of you have had this relationship. Shit's scared, left, shit's right. Shit's rough. They don't make no sense why you're not together, why you're breaking up, so on, so on, yada yada. So. So like, don't don't freak out about it, bro. Oh. One's they behind us? Here. Ah. 75. 
Message sent. Left side, left side. Reloading. Here. Enemy spotted B. You fought well. Got two down. Watch right. Weapon here. Defusing, defusing, defusing. I got him. Good Last player standing. Behind. 